Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we are going to take a look at creating this kind of advanced looking 3D stroke effect into After Effects. Now, as you can see, this effect is not a pretty simple 3D stroke. This strokes are pretty awesome and pretty detailed effect as you can see. Now, if you work a lot with motion graphics, then this tutorial can be very very helpful to you. It can change the way you animate the strokes into After Effects. Now, to create this awesome effect, we need a third party plugin called Trapcode 3D Strokes. So, I hope you have it and if you don't, then I'll put a link in the description so you can go and download it and get back to this tutorial and continue with me. Let's just get started with this effect and I'll show you how to create this one. So first of all, I'm going to create a new comp that is 1920 1080, 30 frames, 5 seconds, good to go. Then I'm going to create a new solid and name this sparks. You can of course name it whatever you want, but I'm going to keep it at sparks. I don't know why, but the sparks. Then I'm going to select the pen tool and create a path for our shape or for our stroke you can say. Draw something pretty basic for now. You can do absolutely whatever you feel like. So I'm going to keep it something like this. Then I'm going to go to effect and go to trap code 3D stroke. So we should have something like this. Now we need to animate the start properties and the end properties of the stroke to create that animation. So to do that, I'm going to click on the end and the start stopwatch. Hit U to bring down the keyframes. Select the end keyframe and set this to zero and then I'm gonna go to somewhere around one second and set this to 100 then I'm gonna drag the start keyframe to somewhere around five frames and then I'm gonna go to one second five frames and bring the start properties to all the way 100 so now we should have something like this now if you want to create a longer stroke, you just need to select the start keyframe and increase the distance between the start and the end keyframe. So the longer the distance will be, the longer the stroke will be. Simple as that. Now this animation is pretty lame for now. So I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting and give it a little bit of flavor. So to do that, I'm going to select both the keyframe and hit F9 to easy ease it. Then I'm going to go to graph editor and create a peak of motion something like this and the same thing I'm gonna do with the end properties or the end keyframes yep there we go so now our animation should look a little bit interesting as you can see yep it looks pretty cool okay then I'm gonna go to the taper effect or the taper properties of the 3d stroke and enable it and just uncheck the compress to fit because we don't want that pointy lines at the end okay then I'm gonna keep the start thickness to somewhere around 10 and the end thickness to somewhere around 10 I'll put the start shape to maybe 2 and the end shape to maybe 1.5 and then I'm gonna increase the thickness to maybe 20 now we should have pretty organic looking stroke as you can see it looks pretty cool yep I like it now the coolest thing about this effect is it is absolutely 3d so what we can do is if I create a new camera I'll show you pretty quick if I go into 3d strokes and enable the camera you can see this effect is absolutely 3d so you can do some crazy stuff with this you can also use or go to the repeater properties, enable it and do some crazy stuff just like this. Or maybe some random stuff you can see. This effect can create a whole new level of motion graphics, you know. Trust me on that. You can do some abstract things. Something like this. You can see, it looks pretty good. The coolest part is it is 3D. So you can also add some text and make it look more awesome. But for now, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So I'm going to delete this and just enable or disable the repeat, repeater, disable the camera as well. But you can, you know, check these properties and create some cool stuff with this. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to color this thing. 
something like a red then I'm gonna duplicate it two times select the middle layer and change the track mat to alpha mat then I'm gonna select the color maybe a darker color then I'm gonna hit M to bring down the mask properties and select the mask and hit control D you can see and just bring this down now this is gonna give us that cool 3d reflection kind of effect on our stroke which is gonna which is gonna make our stroke more awesome you can see it looks pretty good now now I wanna create this kind of you know glossy effect so to do that what we can do is first of all I'm gonna pre-compose this you can name whatever you want for now I'm gonna just keep it pre-compose then I'm gonna right click create a new solid and name this particles okay and make sure the pre comp that we just created is, is 3d okay so I'm gonna select the particle layer good effect trap code and add particular to it then I'm gonna to go to particles and set the speed feather to 0 we go to emitter change the emitter type from point to layer and go to layer emitter and select the pre comp that we just created so we set this pre comp and now if I increase the particles per second you can see we start to get that cool effect of particles you can also increase this to maybe 9000 yeah, this effect looks pretty awesome I go to these particles and increase the size maybe so it looks pretty good okay so now what if we need to create that paint effect this paint kind of strokey effect now to create this kind of effect what we need to do is I'm going to select the particles and I'm going to select a choker that is a mat which is in built in after effects that is simple choker and just double click on it and I'm going to increase the choke mat to 20 so now if I increase the size you can see we start to get start to get that paint effect kind of thing and it looks pretty awesome let's set this to 22 yeah so as you can see this effect is pretty easy to create and pretty awesome you can do some crazy stuff with this effect so yep that's the end of the tutorial and I hope this was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video.